Hello, welcome to getting it done north of seven. Today I'm going to be replacing the chain on this chainsaw. So I've been running this chain on this chainsaw for, geez, three years now. So this chain is pretty much wore out. I've sharpened it numerous times. So we're going to change the chain on this steel chainsaw today. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Okay, so now I fitted the chain back on the barn, just in case. Just make sure that your teeth are pointing this way, because this is going to turn clockwise, and you want the teeth to be chewing into the wood. You don't want to put your chain on backwards, because it isn't going to cut very good. I just brought that up because it does happen. So I have the chain on the bar, now we're going to fit this bar back onto here. We're going to fit the chain around the sprocket here. There we go. So your chain is on nice, it's, in, it's laying inside the groove here, comes around the roller, and it's on the sprocket here. The chain is in the right direction. So now, we're going to put the cover on. Still a little bit dirty on the edges here. It's going to get dirty anyway, it's going to work, so... And then we'll put fit the cover back on, and start threading it up. Tighten the cover on. Now don't put it too tight here because now you have to tighten up the slack in the chain. So now like I said, just make sure you don't tighten this chain too much. That's probably a little tight. Back that off a little wee bit there. We'll try it there. Then you tighten up this thing, close that up, and it should be good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little more fuel in here, some chain bar oil, and we're going to start it up and see how it works. Alright, so I came down the hill here in my ravine. I had this tree that fell a little while back, and it's laying on a water line here, so I'm going to cut it and uh, we'll see how this new chain works out. You can see the, the tightness is just about right. It's perfect, there's lots of oil on the chain. By cleaning it all up in there, the bar oil is getting good to the chain and staying lubricated. So we'll try it out and see how it does. Did it ever go through that tree easily? Well, I'll tell you, the old still really ran good out there. That thing, you know, I'm really impressed with still chainsaws or any still product. As long as you maintain them properly, like putting them away for the winter, not a chainsaw, but let's say a lawn trimmer and that sort of equipment, those things will just keep running for you all the time. All the time. Like I said, I've had this three years, never had a problem with this, and we used it a lot. We burn firewood. Um, we're always cutting wood. If you see some of my other videos, how much wood I stack around here, you'll know that I use this a lot. And it just keeps going. And like I said, this is the first chain I've ever replaced the old one with. Like, so I hope this helped you with replacing your chain on your chainsaw. It's fairly simple. Just make sure that you clean up, clean up in the inside here really good. And make sure you put your chain on the proper way that it's going clockwise. So before you go, do me a favor, just hit that like button, hit the thumbs up, give me a subscribe if you like, leave a comment below, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Thank you again, and don't forget to subscribe.